Today I'll show you how to fold the Olex2 Origami Fidget Spinner. First of all, fold along the orange line. If you've got a ruler handy, that is quite useful. And um, give it a bit of a score line. And that bit needs to be torn off. So you fold it a few times and there we go. Give it a good fold. Um, it also helps to have a little tool to smoothen down the edges because good creases is quite important to make this thing work properly. Right, so once we've creased this a few times, tear it off again. A ruler may help. It doesn't really matter, that edge isn't showing, so it doesn't have to be the best ever. Right, so now fold this edge to the middle, yeah? So give, leave, leave it a bit of space so it just comes in here. That was quite... Fold it in the middle and again give it a good crease. And again on that side. Right, it doesn't really matter where the crease goes that way around or the other way around at the moment. All the creases are going to go both ways in the final thing. So just fold them over and crease them both ways. Now just fold them along all the lines that you can see on the page. So there are these thin grey lines. Fold along all of these lines. Um, it's quite important to get it fairly consistently right. Oops, there we go. And the next one. And so on. That is quite fun. It's quite easy to fold. There's one tricky bit later on, but you'll see when we get to it. I'm going to fold that bit over. On that already. And the last one of these. Okay, so there's some more, one in the middle. So that should be just in the middle of the paper. I suspect if you have it in the middle, nothing can go wrong too much. There we are. Good. So let's. Maybe it's better to do this one first, actually. Yep, yeah, in the middle. And now we've got all these diagonal ones. So we've done all of the ones here. So there's these diagonal ones. If you've done the other creases quite well, let's just go back and do that again. So they're all really well creased both ways. Then the diagonal ones are quite easy to fold. And it's quite important that these ones are all quite well oiled as it was. Okay, there we go. Right, so the diagonal ones just fold along until you see a di diagonal line here. And it goes from the edge, from a point here over one of the crease lines already and they almost fall into place automatically. And that's really important that these are quite sharp and quite well done and turn them over as well to the other side. Number one. Then we have number two. Okay. Right. But these are quite important. They have to be done reasonably well otherwise the whole thing won't work. And the other side. And the third one. Of 
course you can do this without the, um, the print on it. So if you have a, any piece of paper, the ratio is 2 to 1. Um, so it's twice as long as it is wide. And you can just fold any piece of paper in this manner. So there we go. Okay, so I think this is all of those ones. And now we do the remaining ones. So there's one over here. so this one here let's see so you can see it almost folds itself because of the existing creases here start looking a bit messy it doesn't really matter <laughs> um, yeah okay. okay right we're nearly there this one over here I think that's all of them. So you've got a rather creased piece of paper here. Again, it's maybe worth just going over some of these creases again so they go both ways quite easily, especially those diagonal ones. Right. Okay, so now these bits here need to be folded in. One, that's the torn edge. So it doesn't really matter what it looked like earlier. And like this. So this is the um, basic shape. It's like a band. And what we need to do, this edge needs to fold over and slide inside that opening. So use these flops here. So you go around and move it in and that is quite tricky because of all these creases here so you move it in and tuck it all the way in okay this is not in here so there we go so the design should go all the way to the edge here so that should line up and make a nice yeah it's a bit a little bit uh, go in go in right so this should like give the um, the shape continuous here once you've got the band you stand it up and make sure that everything bulges out so there's no bits in here. And now you press down these little triangles here. So these are the diagonal folds. You press down on those. So this one first. There's another little triangle. So these are the bits of Australia we're trying to push down in this design. And again, it's quite important to get them nice and creased and fairly clean. So this is this one here. Okay, so we've got this shape here. And now we turn the whole thing over and do exactly the same on the remaining little triangles. This one here, this one here, and then the final one over here. So what we've got is a shape like this. And what we need to do now is push in these top triangles all at the same time. And they sort of magically fold in. And we turn it over and push in those triangles on this side. Okay, so this is the basic idea. It's done it, but now it needs to fidget around. It needs to spin around. And this, and when it's new, is, can be quite stiff at some point. So this needs a bit of working in. You need to play with that to, to, to work it in. Let's just see whether we can get it round. There we go. It goes round and round and round. Not round, let's go back. So this needs to be a little bit worked in until it is uh, nice and fluent, and it will be eventually. And um, here we are. Thanks for using Olix too.